girl. Hey. Okay, we got to get going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I have a I have a a warning today. So oh, a warning, a warning. I maybe a, war- a maybe a slightly loopy. Okay. Because early earlier I wanted to have some chips and dip and uh I didn't have any potato chips, so I I dug into my husband's tortilla chips, which I'm allergic to corn. Um and I thought I would be okay. I was like, oh, it'll be just a couple. I just want some dip. Well, I started kind of sneezing and everything. Yeah, yeah I was a little puffy, so that's I was yeah. wondering why. So I took a Benadryl, but I also drank like an energy drink at the same time to counteract the effects of the Benadryl. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> that's not how that works, girl. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> <laughs> let's see how this goes. <laughs> Girl, are you excited to be down there Thursday? Are I'm you excited? Very excited? Are you excited? I'm very, very excited. Did you remember oh. that I was coming yes, down this were... Thursday? Yes. Oh, okay. What do you mean did I remember? I'm not shut up. <laughs> <laughs> did I remember? I can't with you. No, I'm super excited. It's gonna be so much fun. It is. I'm it is. I'm very, I'm very, very thrilled. I uh I hope that we are livers survive. Um, so I told my coworkers not to bother me because I intend to be hung over 80% of the tr- time and drunk the other 20. So, I t- mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just watching a thing yesterday. This guy, uh, he's like, a, I guess he's like a straight comedian or whatever, but he basically like listed the top three reasons why straight men should go to gay bars. And he was number one, the drinks are insanely strong and cheap. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, Edgy. number two, women are there. And number three, women love a dude who supports gay people. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's actually almost like a, <laughs> a secret. Like He's like he cracked the code. Except there are, in Wilton Manors, aren't that many gay people. I mean, gay people. There aren't that many, there aren't that many women out at the clubs. <laughs> There's a lot of straight girls that go there. Are uh, there? I, last yeah. time, I didn't see any. Well, no, not like where we went. Like it's they go to like the manor more. Did like, we, that's did more we like go the, to the manor? No, oh, where we did didn't we go, go to the manor. You didn't want to go to the manor because you had to pay a pay a fee. Oh to yeah, go no in. boo. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. Hey, I am forty years old. I do not pay a fee to get to a guy. And you'd have yet. to. It, You'd have to pay more too because you're out of state because they check your ID and you pay more if you're not from Florida. I know, I know. There's a reason that Florida's the worst state in the nation. Oh, I found another reason today too. So oh, no. we 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 were driving we were driving back home. Yes. It was it was my mother's birthday this past weekend. We we were driving. Oh, happy birthday, Mama! We were driving back home, and we were like, "Hey, somehow or another, lynchings came up." And I was like, "What? What is? I wonder what the worst state in the nation per capita for <laughs> lynchings was. Uh, by far, by far, <laughs> per capita, per hundred thousand people, by far, and I mean like way out up there, it was Florida. <laughs> so any me. anybody." I used to say Florida's not a southern state because, you know, it's got so much spash in Florida. No, no, no. That proved that Florida's a southern state. <laughs> I told you. The only part of Florida that's not southern is this tip, honey. Like, that's it. Hey, girl, it's it's going that way now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all got mm-hmm. Ron the Sanctimonious. Yeah, but that's just because the people in the southern part of Florida think that everybody that has the letter D beside their name is a communist and a socialist. Just... That's a, that's the thing. It's just it's still as prominent as it was back then. Every Democrat is a communist and a socialist in South Florida, according to a large part of the Cuban population. I know because my friends have lots of arguments with their family members because this is like a huge thing with them. Mm. Still, mm-hmm. still. Also. The um the Cuban population uh, down here in South Florida thinks that uh, no other no other they don't understand that their special treatment that they got from the United States government was actually special treatment. Oh, with a dry foot, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, don't, they don't think that was special treatment at all. <laughs> they were like, 
That was just that, 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 that wasn't special. That was the we deserve that. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Nobody else deserves it. Just the Yeah. <laughs> oh man, we're actually having a really cool thing down here, right? It's not cool. It's pretty pretty cool though. So there's it's like a not congressman. Cool, but it's pretty cool. It's not cool for the person. So there's this congressman that got embroiled in a really, really scandalous type of thing, and they just put like a lien against his home <laughs> because uh a judge ordered him to pay like sixty seven million dollars and he ain't got that kind of bit um so yeah that's become like the funniest story of the of the uh, polit- political season this year it's like is yesterday he, they filmed them put the put the sign up on his is, house. is he a republican or a democrat girl you already know well i don't know it could be the way i mean not down here honey it's that's not. true <laughs> democrats can't even get that close to that kind of money <laughs> that's fair that's fair they i can't. mean we, we've got we've got the Democratic senator who was stealing bars of gold or not steal bar getting bars of gold from the Qataris. So whatever, you know. You if can... you had said stealing bars of gold and that was true, I would have screamed my head off at how cartoonish that is. It, it, oh my no, god! Like, oh, I love god. that so much. <laughs> like you god. could just see him creeping. <laughs> Dink, 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 dink. <laughs> Senator Bob Menendez. Mm. Oh, mm-hmm. Lord. Mm-hmm. Oh, politicians. Oh, never, politicians never, never change. Never stop. They'll never change. Never, <laughs> never, never change. Let's see here. What's going on in Statesville that you need to know about? Hmm. Is there any Nothing. new restaurants? I don't any know. New... Olive Garden's coming soon. Um, they're gonna get an olive garden, get an olive garden girl yeah oh my gosh yeah. that's like gonna be the fanciest restaurant that's there. not so no that's not true downtown statesville has got some <sighs> real good restaurants now are they are they like fancy restaurants well what's your level of fancy <laughs> Are like, we talking Reba McIntyre fancy, or are we talking like because it's about that fancy? <laughs> I was gonna say I, I, you probably just named the only fancy that it probably is, right? I, fan, so, dear listeners, where we're from, fan, when we say the word fancy, uh, what we mean is the place that you go before the prom, the place uh-huh. that you go for your anniversary. Yes, that's like that's correct. what we're that's, talking that's, about. That's, we, 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 we're, we're not talking like. 10 star dining gourmet blah 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 we're talking something nicer than an outback right something that doesn't require flypaper which statesville does have an outback too that's that that's fancy for statesville yeah but they got an outback have they gotten a zaxby's yet yeah they've had zaxby's for a while i, I haven't been back in statesville and it's been Many years. They, they, there was a Zaxby's when you were there last. <laughs> no, there wasn't. The yes, Zaxby's, was. the closest, when I was there last, the closest Zaxby's was on the way to Hickory. Girl, I promise you, there was a Zaxby's there. It's over, it's been over by Walmart for about a decade now. Has it? Yeah. You just didn't put in your Google machine correctly. I just didn't even assume it was there, honey. That's I probably don't. what it was. You're like, is there a Zaxby's there here? Everybody at the, Around like, I don't even know what that piece is, but there, there's Joe Pfeiffer's. If you want some real good chicken, you can go down there, Joe Pfeiffer's. I mean, there's only like three or four things that are required eating for me when I go home. Bojangles, like, end of list. Bojangles. Well, <laughs> I do. I do love some Zaxby's, though. I do. I have to admit, I do love. Is there some not Zaxby's near you? Mm-mm. Hmm. Really? Also, not here. Nope. I know. I think. I my I heard I haven't seen it with my own eyes, so I don't know. I heard that there is one north of West Palm Beach, but that's not technically near me. That's almost like an hour away. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, a lot. There's a there's a fair amount of things that stop just before you get to like the actual yeah, South I Florida believe, area. I believe I googled not too long ago. I think you've got Waffle House down there now. Yes, I actually passed it. I didn't pass it. I passed the exit for it recently, and I was I almost was like, oh. Um, so yeah. yeah, but next time, if, if we do that black market again up in Gainesville next time, I'm definitely going to be stopping at the Zaxby's. Yeah, that girl, it, it's, it's pretty close to you too. Is it? It is. It's, it's on Hacienda, it's near Hacienda Village. 
Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna it's, take my. It's it's right close to Costco. I don't know where that's. I don't go up there very often, so I don't really know what anything is up there. Why? Like, why? Why'd they put it near the country club? Boo boo! Don't take the word country club for what it what it looks like, because that doesn't mean anything here. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't mean half of the developments here have the word country club beside them. It means nothing. Well, it says it's the Fort Lauderdale Country Club, so that seems that would kind of seem. It means official. nothing. It means nothing. It means nothing. Just letting you know, Carl. Carl. Oh my God, we've been going a while. Speaking of meaning nothing, did you know that we have a Patreon, dear <laughs> listeners? If you go to Patreon.com, Bims a baby, you can throw some money. Hey, Mame. Yes. Mame. Yes. Mame. Did you yeah. know that we have another podcasts? What? That's right. We have You Slay Me, our Murder She Wrote podcast. And one day again, we'll have Over the Moon. Tuesday. We're going to do it this Tuesday. We're, gonna we're try going our, to do it. We're going to we're try going our best to do it this do Tuesday. It. Oh, we, we have our uh, 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 mm, Moonlighting podcast. That's Wiz, Over the Moon. And hey, Mame, if you're a patron, you can see us in the lightest of drag recording over the moon and mame 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 back in frame there you go mame <laughs> you also get all of our recordings ad free now dear listeners that's right that's that, right there's a stop caveat them, you there's, stop there's giving caveat them this here. Asterisks. there's another caveat i tried to upload these and they stopped at four minutes 44 seconds which is real awkward and now whenever i hit play they don't play so i'm i'm trying there are other ways to make the episodes available without ads. Not for just our patrons. This is the easiest way to do it. Oh, the easiest way. I mean, yeah, because I do it for, for Hello for the Magic Tavern. Like, I get all those ad free. Don't give people ideas. Hey, man. I would love for them to go to that podcast. What are you talking about? I love no, it. No, 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 no. I'm not that. I'm saying I, I, I don't want, I don't, I don't want. I get it. Too many. We don't want people to know our, our cooking secrets. Is that what we're, is that the analogy we're going for? Mame. Metaphor. Mame. Yes. Mame. Merchandise. Mimsmame.com. <laughs> five star reviews. Love them. <laughs> this is season five, episode 12. <laughs> and now here's Bernice. I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I, I, I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I, I, I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I'm Julia Sugarbakers. And that's Marjorie. Just so you will know, and your children will someday know, is the night. The light went out in Georgia. The light went out. The light went out. The light went out. The light went out. And that is the night. The light went out in Georgia. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Well, now you do. <laughs> 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 We're at Sugar Baker's fame. We ain't got all the time in the world, girl. I gotta eat at some point tonight. We're at Sugar Baker's fame. <laughs> yeah, this is. I don't okay. get the little song. Sugar Baker, <laughs> and we find out that Charlene is wearing Bill's underwear. Oh, the scandal! The scandal! It's such a scandal, right? Did you watch Drag Race yet? I did. How do you feel about the the ending? The ending, like who what went home? Ending? Oh, the, the, I mean, what usually happens at the end, girl? No, I thought you meant like something happened, like the like something more surprising. Um, no, I'm not surprised, just because. So I, I did think do not meant, like. Oh, good. I I, th I thought I thought uh, Amanda won the lip sync. So, I thought Amanda did okay on the lip sync, but I think that the problem I I honestly really believe what plain Jane said. And I hate saying that because she's been not very nice, but it just feels like she's not quite there. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and when RuPaul said it too, but I was, I mean, I like her and I like her. I like her as a performer, but I did start thinking like, 
when she had that mess up with the wig during the the other mm-hmm. part, I was like, this is like very messy boots, like very messy boots, you know that. So I was, I was. Uh, have you watched uh, the pit stop yet? Not yet for this week. No. Do you know who the guest is? Is this the one with Maddie Morphosis? Maddie Morphosis in the biggest, pictures. in the biggest wig I've ever seen before in my life. I've seen, I've seen the pictures. Yeah, uh, hair witch, hair witch made those. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Hair Witch or no. not, but Hair Witch, yeah, she made that. How that many more blackened... times you can say Hair Witch? Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, so as I was staying before I was Hair Witched, um, they pointed out that even though that last look was absolute trash that she wore, that that every time she does a show, she's going to have to pull it out because it is so iconic that it's so bad. I'm. I bet. I bet trying to figure out what would have made it better because I actually thought the concept was funny, just not for that particular challenge. Like, because if she had had like a cat's paw reaching for the eggs or something, like like, like if if her wig, if she'd rearrange it to where her wig was the cat reaching into the eggs, yeah, like just something. Like it was. There was a lot of effort that went into that. I mean, it wasn't a terrible look. It just was like. Ill conceived. I don't know if there was a lot of effort. I mean, that nest was. I looked at that nest like. Oh, the nest, nest was, was good. The the the, a lot the, of work the, went the into blue that. wigs, the blue wig heads oh, with the wigs. That part was terrible. That part was terrible. So Charlie's feeling guilty about wearing the men's pants and why? Anthony, I don't know. And then so she's telling the secret to Julia, and then Anthony pops up over by the coffee machine. It's like, hey, Julia, and. W- Charlene asks a very important question that I want to ask you about. Yes. The, the, do you use the flap in the front of your underwear? What flap? Like if you wear Y fronts. Oh, I don't. I've never wore Y fronts. If you wear boxer shorts. Um, no. I mean, I never wore. I'm not really a boxer short person either. But yeah, no, it never bothered me. Like now, I, do you I think use I when I was. A, Oh, do you pull your junk out of the hole or do you push and pull your pants? No, I usually just pull my pants down. Like, like I just usually pull the underwear down. I don't feel like doing all that. Like, plus to me, it just feels cumbersome, Mm -hmm. but you can just pull them down. Yeah. I, 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 do you unbutton when you, my jeans? Yes. Some people unbutton and pull everything down. Some people just use the zipper. I'm an unbuttoner. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. See, mm-hmm. diff- different people are different. Like I, I, what makes the world go round? I, I, I actually, hand to God, prefer to sit to pee while holding God's hand. Have you watched a uh, record of Ragnarok at all on Netflix? Oh yeah, I've, I've watched all of it. Oh, yes. it's trash. It's a. I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorite Netflix animes. Because it is stupid, ridiculous. So just just like just like the joke, I'm cutting you off. Mary Jo's here, <laughs> and she's got a package. Mm. Uh, oh, sorry, cheerless. I'm I'm not making noise. You can't hear that I'm too, that I'm winking my eye. I apologize to you and yours that you couldn't hear my eye winking. My, I don't believe that they've gotten they've gotten microphones quite that sensitive yet. Maine, what are we gonna do if we all get neural links and they get hacked? <laughs> Hopefully, have a good time. <laughs> It's, that's all I'm hoping out of it, honestly. Put in some digital shrooms. I'll be into it. Oh, God. Well, it's a rawhide with a card. And, and Charlene's, Charlene looked in the package, so she knew what it was. She read the card, too, because she's really good at being a secretary. Hmm. Hmm. It's from Donald Banks. Who says? <laughs> this is... I thought she was dating uh, the boyfriend of her daughter. My it's boyfriend's really... daughter. Sorry, that sounds like a Lifetime movie. It yeah. does. I dated my boyfriend's, my daughter's boyfriend's father's daughter. Starring Farrah Fawcett and Tori Spelling. Isn't Farrah Fawcett dead? 
I just it this is like Tori I meant like spelling have that disease. I meant like twenty years ago. Is it Farrah Fawcett dead? When did didn't Farrah Fawcett die like twenty years ago? Not twenty years ago. See, you're gonna feel real bad when it was two thousand one, won't you? I mean, am I? Am I really gonna feel bad? Wait, is Farrah Fawcett still alive? Two thousand nine. So that wasn't twenty years ago. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Girl, I just like to let you know of a little journey that I'm on right now. I was walking oh, man, into man. the Barnes and Noble the other day. Okay, as you do, they just they put one in across the street. They took over a gym and turned it to Barnes and Noble. Anyway, it's nice. It's new. It's it's exciting. Anyway, as I was walking in, there was an older gentleman who turned to me and said, "You look like Jerry Garcia." My soul left my body for a good two minutes. I had to run and catch it and put it back in. I don't know if you noticed, but I've shaved. <laughs> I've started jogging again, and I'm getting my hairs trimmed down. I wish I could disagree with him. But now that you've shaved, you don't... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. With, with the beard, it's the beard. But from the nose up, yeah. oh, as yeah, soon yeah. as you said it, I was like, oh, oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. But with a beard, yes, I do. It like some little bit heavier now. Well, it's not even the heaviness. It's literally your hairstyle. I know. I know. Is what's doing it. Like, oh, it's, it's, get, it's getting, it'll be shorn before you see me. Wow. Mm -hmm. Although we could always just take this as a positive and you can have a new career as cherry garcia and we can make like a grateful dead drag act we could be like a touring company you could be cherry garcia and i'll be shart well babe did you enjoy this episode <laughs> it was great <laughs> <laughs> bernice i tell you what she is a card she is an absolute card <laughs> Well, Mary Jo and Julia, like, like Charlene is really like, I want you to date him. He's a super nice guy. I always, and Mary Jo and Julia are like, don't date clients. That should have been end of episode. Well, Bernice is here. Hey, Bernice. And she walks in. She says, "And now here's Bernice." And then she starts whistling the the Tonight Show theme. And she's like, I've got something very, very, like, exciting to tell you. And Charlene runs over. And McMahon came and you cut the public, you won Publishers Clearing House. <laughs> I don't know if you know this. That is a Mandela effect. We had this discussion so before, which made this, which made this episode all the more freaky because we just had this discussion about a month ago. Yeah. And the Mandela effects, dear listeners, there's some people that say they're caused by CERN and like black holes and changing timelines. Ooh, Ooh I know about black holes. Yeah, yeah. Carol, yours just happened to be gaping. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or untouched. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> yeah. Just so untouched now. I want you so much. <laughs> oh God. Or or torn. It could also be torn. Oh, God. <laughs> Gone, Natalie. My my asshole has not been embrulled, honey. <laughs> no. <laughs> it has not been embrulled. So it's okay. It's okay. But nothing's fine. I'm torn. I'm all I'm <laughs> This is how I feel. Um what was I talking about before we got a boogly bed? Um, Jerry Garcia. Bitch. So, no, no, CERN. No. We were talking about CERN, CERN no, and what, the Mandela effect. What, what it actually is, is it's people making things make sense. Right? Because th this was actually, he, Ed McMahon worked for American Publishing Media. 
well, Publishers Clearinghouse is a far better name. And people just conflate the two and are like, we obviously work for Publishers Clearinghouse, right? So that that's the way Nelson Mandela, we think he spelled his name, is actually makes more sense than the way he spelled his name. That's Ordelia. I wonder um, if you ever go for your doctorate, this would be an amazing thesis. Something, something, something. Well, she's the host of the Senior ra- Roundup on Public Access Talvi- Television. Oh, good for you, Bernice. And like, it, it, it's, it was 60 After Dark, and they were talking about the prostate. Now she wants to bring in a little bit more sex. <gasps> Bernice, mm. for senior citizens? For senior citizens. God, I hope that whenever I'm 60, I hire some real hot poo nanny. <laughs> I'm not familiar with him. What's it? It's have his own website. Girl, I <laughs> to this day I have a link to a Tumblr of a dude that I thought was hot years and years and years ago. <laughs> it used to have nudes on it. Oh, I should click it now. You know what? I'm gonna. This feels like a a, a, a moment is about let's, to happen. Let's, let's see. Let's see what I could do here. Can I? Hmm. Speaking of sex and uh, sixty year olds, everybody, you should definitely watch that uh, documentary about the villages uh, retirement community on Hulu. Oh yeah. So that's essentially like what Bernice would like to have in real life. It's a real life version of what Bernice is trying to project there. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, let's let's do this together. <laughs> no. no, no, what's that? Here we go. Are you? Oh no! Oh no! They left it. What? No meaning. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Where is it? Where? <laughs> We're back. <laughs> that was a journey. Good lord! It was did, like we, multiple things happened like in rapid succession, and I was like, what "Just the thing is, because I was an idiot and clicked and clicked the uh, I just clicked the link in the same tab as this. Oh my god, girl, that! And it wasn't even a active link anymore." His name is Chico Bravo. Chico Bravo. (laughs) (sighs) Well, Donald's here. (laughs) And but he he's like, I I want you. I keep thinking about you and you. I keep I have feelings and Mary Jo's like, I don't. We should keep this professional. But I, 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 and Charlene just over there swooning and swooning and having a collective orgasm. Speaking of, girl. Come back home. (laughs) Speaking of. Yes. Usher is is doing the halftime show this year. Oh, boy. Oh, man. That's going to be a lot of things. (laughs) It's going to be. Every woman in the audience just having an orgasm at once. Oh boy, mm-hmm. there's gonna be a lot of uncomfortable men in the audience mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. feeling mm-hmm. feeling very emasculated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because especially when Taylor Swift descends, <laughs> I need it to happen so bad. Uh... <laughs> I need it to happen so bad. Well, Bernice is like, you know what? Life's too short. You should just go after him. I turned a guy down and six at 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 my retirement home. Six days later, he was dead. You just can't leave him on the vine too long there. It's true. It's true. Well, something later on at Sugar Bakers, then there's a weird cut. And Mary Jo's been on a couple of dates now with this guy. Yes, we've had a time jump. Like, you know... The last the last one she she had jump. was a picnicy, 
and <laughs> like like it it was very cute. They had they had a picnic in front of a fire, and Suzanne's here and making jokes and looking very tired of being there right now. Mm. And Anthony talks about how he's gl- he's happy that this dude can plan dates because you know, and this is true of the late eighties, early nineties, that there's a sex scene in every single movie that's out. And that it makes the date uncomfortable and then him uncomfortable because the date thinks that he's thinking about sex and he is. Yeah, those are good days. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The 80s was just a very unusual time. It was. It was. <laughs> like, just honestly, very unusual time. We made it through, girl. It's amazing yeah. what a lot of cocaine can do. Yes, yeah, not for us. Not for us. <laughs> No. Not no. for us. No. We didn't do cocaine in the 80s. Did we in the 90s? I've never done cocaine. No. Me neither. I don't like uppers. Oh, yeah, yeah. I never thought of it like that. I just, for some strange reason, it was I was watching somebody do it yesterday on some movie. And as much as I love my inhalers, my nasal inhalers being uh-huh. beneficial to me... The powder up the nose thing, just, uh, I don't know. I just, it just, I can't do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, girl, girl, girl. Oh, oh, hello. Hel- hello, hello, sugar bakers. Hello, sugar bakers. Hello, hello. hello. It's Donald calling. Oh. And he breaks oh, up with okay. Mary Jo. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. That was a lot. Mm-hmm. Well, Suzanne's like, we should just get revenge. Yes. And Julia's like, well, Julia's uh, first of all offers to cancel the account. And then it's like, you know, we should just tell all of his friends that he um, lounges around the house in a huge push-up bra. Yes. We couldn't just have this be a fun episode without a little bit of homophobia. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's true. (laughs) <laughs> like we could we could have had that go in a lot of different ways so julia's like well you know and suzanne's like well you know if you're going to go over there and be professional mary joe if that doesn't work then we'll resort to the bra even you julia mm-hmm. so it's later on at sugar bakers and bernice is taping tonight and she's upset because her took her dropped out and her cop dropped out so the original plan was she was gonna have a hooker and a at a vice cop on the set and try to get him to arrest her at the set on the set well charlene's like we could all come over and talk about decorating on your show it's that's not quite as idea. exciting but you know mate, we could do that that's a good idea and bernice's like come on we gotta find my hookers also, Bernice, that's not really how vice cops work. Like, they have to be solicited and yeah. things like that. A person who had to just be like, I'm a prostitute, and they just arrest them. That's not how yep. that works. They just can't They just can't commit the act. They can take the money. They can't commit the act. Right. <laughs> like, the, mo- the moment the money changes hands is when they have to arrest. They cannot. Yeah. They cannot. If they commit the act, then they are then they, doing a legal thing. Mm-hmm. What was that again? <laughs> They're doing an illegal thing. And you know that whole thing of if you ask a cop, hey, are you a cop? And they have to say yeah. yes. That's yeah. not true. Cops but can TVs, TVs and movies have told me it's true. Cops can lie to you. That is what? Yes, and that's not putting you under false pretense. That is just them lying to you. It's okay. That's that's turned my entire dating history upside down. I'm sure. I knew Mr. Maine was a cop. How are the crystals? Let's have a crystal update. Oh, God, we got a new one. I can't wait to show it to you. It's really interesting. It's like a, um, it's it's hard to describe, really. It's like, has like a, a gradient color to it, the way the crystal was formed. Um, so, yeah, that's really cool. It looks almost like a, 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 a kind of like a, dragon's eggish sort of hmm, thing going because we on. know what dragon's eggs look like now i mean just from movies and tv <laughs> oh god do we have any new sculptures or anything uh 
I don't think so. No pottery. This thing, this thing no, this this thing that he got was is pretty pricey. Uh, so I don't I don't think he'll be getting anything for a little bit because it was pretty pricey. That's what he says. Okay. If he ever wants to go, I would love to go gem hunting with him. <laughs> Look at them and be like, "Oh, this is beautiful. This one, this one. Oh, it's only twelve hundred dollars. Get it, sweetie." Not sweetie. <laughs> Not sweetie. Get it, sweetie. That's a look fantastic right there. Oh you have the space in your kitchen, I promise you. <laughs> Who cooks these days anyway? <laughs> Not him. I mean, you know. <gasps> Just put it in the bottom of the pool, sweetie. Just put it in the bottom of the pool. Well, actually, no, 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 you know no, 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 that, that ruined the lining. Oh, yeah. If you have vinyl lining, no, no, if it's, if it's concrete, you can do that. But if it's vinyl, yeah. lining, mm, 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 scratch the fuck out of lining. Do not, do not even, if he ever even thinks about it, mention mm -hmm. that and tell him that's about five to $10,000 to replace. Hmm. But, the, but you could put in like the little pebbles, like a, bottom of a fish tank the little round ones oh that would be cute do you ever see those videos of not videos but like the online things of the people that have like blood red colored lining pools mm -hmm. it's i find that actually quite appealing i think that would be a really cool thing to have i don't know why i mean it just i think it's just i like the color red a lot but i thought that was actually quite neat looking it looks neat till you're in there swimming in it and there's something unnerving and I think probably disorienting about being in red. I can see the disorienting part. Yeah. yeah like you're underneath the, like, can, did you, did you, do you open your eyes under the water? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just, I don't think that there's something about blue that we can see. Well, red is just such a hazard color. It's probably like, Oh, good. I'm dying. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that now that you've said that. Yeah. Well, we're at Donald's and Ma Mary Jo's, you know, sticking up for herself. And like, she's being very blunt with him. And he's like, you know, just clear everything with Melinda, my office manager. So Melinda comes in and Donald leaves and Mary Jo punches the air and like lets out a little guttural scream. And she's like, oh, you've been Donnie'd basically mm. um he takes women out on dates there's a whole support group a whole line of women come in they talk about one who was even engaged to be married and he backed out like holy shit this dude he does like they do a good job of making him seem like an actual monster mm -hmm. yeah a support group girl a support group have you ever needed a support group for a man you were dating Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, dear listeners, I asked that question jokingly. And then I realized after I asked that question jokingly that it was true that she did. <laughs> and now I feel a little bit like a heel. It's fine. But it's just a touch of gray. To quote, to quote one Jerry Garcia. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. The, the, the problem is I'm not even the biggest Grateful Dead fan. That's really. No, like, I know. It's, I like Touch of Grey. Was... But like Dude, the whole that. thing was comical. Like it's comical on numerous levels. If like if you're familiar with the two of us and like the, our friend circle from like back growing up, yeah. like it's comical on multiple yes, levels. Yes, yes. And how two two of them one to end up a hippie liberal, the other one hit, ended up a libertarian conservative. Yes, which is wild still to me. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. like it's like you just you just don't know what direction people are gonna go in life. I mean, we could have assumed from both those, girl. <laughs> That's not that big of a... We're at the TV studio. 
And and Julia had trouble finding it because it's in the basement of a welding company. Oh, okay. And she's like, "Hey, you know that they they they'll take care of you." And she's like, "In a few minutes, I've got to go pee. I'll just keep the camera rolling. It'll be great." Or take phone calls. What it is? Well, we notice that Mary Jo isn't here, girl. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, three, two, oh. one. Ooh, we're on. Action. It's the reason. Oh, no, that's contact, right? Three, yes. two, one. Contact. Yes. It's the reason. I don't know. The, I, those are the only, the entire three, two, one contact. It's the reason. I don't know any of the rest of it. I did not watch three, two, one contact. I, I, I read the magazine more than I watched the series, mm-hmm. which in hindsight now seems kind of weird. Um, I did yeah. watch Square One, though. Yes. I love MathNet. You would. It was you fun. Would. And I could answer all the questions. It's, those are your favorites. <laughs> Well, Bernice goes on and on about talking about the design firm and it being a a madam, a a whorehouse, a brothel. Yeah, Julia has a brothel now. Yeah, and like Julia's the madam and Anthony's the pimp and um, Charlene turns treats. Um, I I just remembered... (laughs) This is now the second time they've been like that that Julia Sugarbaker has been associated now with prostitution on this show. Mm-hmm. Cuz remember they did that during the Civil War reenactment mm-hmm. episode too. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so funny. So so, so they cut to break our uh, commercial break and Julia grabs hold of Bernice and like I don't know what's wrong with you. But if you keep this up, I'm going to pick you up and throw you across the room. They're back live, and Bernice just keeps on going. Uh, Well, Mary Jo's here, out of breath from her last client. She's the sexy little nymphette. mm, Mm -hmm. Oh, Bernice. And Mary Jo (laughs) is like, no, no, I'm not a nymphette. But let me tell you about Donald. And she goes up, walks the camera. It shows a picture of Donald. And like explains to everyone in the in Atlanta how bad of a person he is. Defamation. And then goes on in during the credits to show more people liable and talk about them. Do 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 Hey man. Yes. Did you find yourself a discharge? Well, what? It, it ends like that. What are you shaking your head for? That's how it ends, girl. I know, but you, but it doesn't, you, you were like, it's not like that abrupt. Like it was just, it's you know. not interesting. So did you find yourself a Miss George world or not? <laughs> I don't really think. I don't know. This episode, I didn't find a lot of the outfits I was really into. I liked Charlene's outfit in the beginning, that flowy thing with the huge shoulder pads. Oh. I really liked that. It was, it was so 80s, and I'm like, and it was a weird, it was, it, you don't really see navy in that fabric before <laughs> or since. So I was like, you know, that is an interesting color story fabric choice. And putting that those large of shoulder pads on a large woman. It is all a choice here. And I'm going to give it my best George World. I will go, I will give it to you what you just said there, the word interesting. Um that's as much as I'm gonna go there. Okay. Interesting. It was interesting. Yes. Okay. Did you like this episode, Mame? It was, it was fun enough, right? Like it was I, silly. I enjoyed you know. it's one of those I enjoy talking about it more than watching it. I mean, yeah, I watched the first time I was like, This is bad. Watch it the second <laughs> time, I'm like, ah, Okay, it's got it's got there are things I would rework. Like, I this would, is, I would probably I would make say that, though, yeah, this is traditionally like one of like the fan, the fans like favorites. People really like this episode well, a lot, yes. And then Mary Cho gets rest for libel at the end or def- <laughs> <laughs> like. You can't talk about that kind of stuff, Mary Jo. He could sue. I mean, that way, we know why in next season, Sugar Bakers goes bankrupt. I mean, <laughs> it's all for Mary Jo's fault. 
all Mary I mean, Jane's fault. We, we knew it would be, right? I mean, I think that, too, it's, it's just funny because there's like a – the Bernice factor is – it could have been higher, you know. They could have had more. Yeah, I, I, I would have. I would have switched the A and the B storylines. I think is probably, probably yeah. the biggest thing here. Like make make Bernice's silly ass shit the A story, yeah. right? Like really play into her. And actually, earlier on, it says Bonnet like that they were going to go talk to Bonnet. Yep. Bring her on. That would have been perfect to me. Like. And make it be that the vice cop already knew her. Yep. I like, would have loved any they why is she not on more episodes? She would have been so great as like a more regular character on here. I I, I do not disagree. But, you know, whatever. Yeah. I mean, she's been in three three episodes, I think. Yeah. The two wedding ones like, and the first one with Monet. Yeah. yeah. It's like why not why not just have her in more I mean she's a good character. Yeah, yeah. Or do the madam thing, like have it be have have Bernice really screw it up, have Monette as a madam there and Julia, but have Bernice actually screw the two up and have them all the same thing, like have all the oh, same panel. That that would have been, been hilarious. That would have been a just very turn, funny episode. Keep turning to Julia. So Monette. Yeah. That and make that the A storyline. That is my that is my it's fix of this. Fix. We fixed it. We You're fixed You're welcome. It. Linda, Linda, I know you shat this one out because it was yep. not written well. I know we you will, <laughs> We will go grab it. We'll get a, a necromancer right now. So that we can get this episode back on track. Yes. Somebody, a necromancer, please go down to CBS Lot C and start. Bring back Bernice. Bring back Bernice. Bring back Bernice. Fame. <laughs> yes. Fame. Why don't you why don't you tell our dear listeners uh, where 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 they can where they can find you stressed out most of the time? Yep. Hi, dear listeners. It's I, Auntie Mame, your favorite relation, back on her meds. So you can find me every Thursday hosting Amazing Colossal Karaoke at Killy Riddle in Miami Beach. Uh, also, you can find me performing improv at the Villain Theater and hosting the Black Market Festival every other month. All those links can be found at I'm your Auntie Mame dot com. How about you? Mims. What she didn't say is her meds are Benadryl. Hey y'all, I'm the Divine Miss Mims. You can find me online at the divinemissmims.com. Hey Mame. Yes. Do we have a Patreon? No. That's right. And you're gonna need more Benadryl because you're gonna eat some popcorn at that one bar. Is what's your doodle performing right now? We'll talk in a minute. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, we need to talk about that. By the way, I just can... realized that there was something I forgot to tell you. Ooh, really I'm excited! You go to Patreon.com. Mm-hmm. a mame. Throw somebody mame. Do you know we have another podcast? That's no. right. We have we have you slay me our merch trade podcast and over the moon our. Uh, Moonlighting podcast, hey Mame. Did you know yeah. we have merchandise? That's right. If you go to Moonlighting.com, you can buy something. Hey Mame. Yeah. Do you know what I love? That's right. Five star reviews. Five star reviews really help us and help us grow. Hey Mame. Yes. Mame, did you know that our dear listeners can reach out to us? Uh, what? That's right. They can to Mims and Mame at gmail.com or send us a text at 704 380 Hey Mame. Mame. Yes. Do you yes. have anything else to add? Uh, no. The watch say goodnight, Mame. Goodnight, Mame. Bye, y'all. <laughs>